Hey guys, here's another application for the Standliner Fender tool. Um, it's got this really good bend on it. So um, I'm working on this Camaro here. I got a quarter panel hit right on the edge and there's damage obviously up here and all the way down into here. So I'm, I've got the vent off. I'm, uh, I'm going through this hole and reaching up here. I've got a block of wood in here and that's just to help me get uh, to raise it up a little bit so I can get contact on this. I've got hot glue on this uh, for a soft push. So let's check it out. So I can touch all the way up to here right now and here as well. all the way up to here. So that's good. So I can, what I want to do right now is work on the, I'm still working on the bottom. It's a little bit messy, but so you can see, got really good soft pushes. Not doing anything fancy, you know, no rolling and stuff really, but you can see I've got contact and pretty soft pushes. So I can get this up nice and clean. Got a sharp part I can work on here. So I'm gonna turn the tool to the edge of it a little bit. I wish I would have figured this out sooner because I was using a rubber, a black rubber ball, and I made some stretchy kind of pushes in there that I don't really like. But We'll live with it. And then if you want, samurai is a good idea here. Because uh, to me, when you blend and samurai, it's kind of like, um, you kind of, in my own words, I'm kind of activating the memory of the metal. So what that means to me is that when I'm tapping it, I can actually get some crown flow uh, coming in with the, with the flexing of the panel especially if it's very impactful. Um, I don't have any pulls on this because this is a repainted panel and it's not the best either. So I'm gonna play it safe. It seems okay, but it's just the finish isn't that great. So I'm kind of cautious, being cautious, I'm pushing all, this one all the way out. Anyways, I'll show you the result later. Peace.